I don't think that Elon Musk ever had a proper plan in place when it came to taking over Twitter. To be quite honest with you, I don't think Elon Musk ever really expected to take over the company. I think his tenure as CEO kind of happened very similar to how Donald Trump's presidency happened. Neither truly expected to be in those positions but they landed in them regardless and now you kind of have to come up with an idea in terms of what you want to do and I don't think there's any proper plan in place. I really don't. I think when it comes to Elon Musk he made an impulsive decision. I think that he is truly a free speech absolutist or at least he thinks that he is and when he saw so many people being silenced on the platform when he saw so many people being banned from the platform I think it truly angered him and he wanted to make a statement so he offered to buy Twitter but he never truly expected Twitter to accept the deal and they did and the evidence for the fact that he never truly expected them to accept the deal is all in the court case he tried to immediately pull out he tried to immediately backtrack and they forced him to buy it and now he's stuck with the company and I think he's starting to realize that things are not going to be as easy as he originally thought it was going to be. He's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. He ran his entire Twitter buyout, his entire Twitter takeover on being a free speech platform. But he also now understands that he needs to make money. And in order to make money, you need to appease the advertisers. And the advertisers are not going to be happy if you're just going to make Twitter a free for all platform and I think Elon Musk is now realizing that because on the one side you have conservatives kind of angry that he's not making all of the decisions immediately making it as free speech as they want it to be and on the other side you have people kind of angry at him for opening it up too much even though he hasn't even made any changes yet and because of that you are seeing advertisers pulling out at an alarming rate and I think Elon Musk is truly worried about that. He is now trying to put measures in place. He has met with advertisers but that hasn't stopped advertisers from pulling out of the company to the point where he's losing over four million dollars every single day and with a one billion dollar payment coming up he needs to make sure that Twitter starts making money and the truth is Twitter has never really made money and now it's losing even more money. So what are you going to do? What measures are you going to put in place? Now when he had his meeting with the advertisers he put a few ideas on the table and one of those ideas that he put on the table was kind of a tier system that gives advertisers more control over where they advertise and that's not the worst idea in the world. We see YouTube implement similar type of stuff and it can definitely work by giving advertisers more control but I also think that advertisers are probably going to want to see an updated terms of service. I think they're gonna want to see some sort of commitment where it's not just going to make it a free for all even though I don't think he ever said it was going to be a free for all but it's kind of the expectation and because there's so much outrage because there's so many people pushing back you just see a lot of advertisers being extremely nervous about what the future of Twitter is going to hold and the fact that he laid off 50% of his staff I don't think he's going to do him any favors. With that said Twitter Blue is kind of his solution trying not to rely that heavily on advertisers and instead going over to having your site funded by the people is a good idea in theory if you offer a product but Twitter isn't that. So as a service you need to make sure that you offer people the correct amount of features and if you don't then this whole Twitter blue thing is not going to work and the latest news to come from Elon Musk when it comes to Twitter blue is that he's pretty much going to make the platform pay to win he absolutely is and people like to make the argument that you're still going to have free speech even if you don't have a blue check mark but that literally isn't the case anymore free speech will now cost you eight dollars previously I said that that's not true and that it doesn't matter whether do you have a check mark or not you will still be allowed to speak but now after Elon Musk came out in a session that he had a few days ago he pretty much said no that's not the case if you are not verified and you don't pay the eight dollars a month he's literally going to suppress you he's literally going to shadow ban you he actually said that he said that in an interview that he had or a seminar that he had 
that that people who are not verified with Twitter Blue, their accounts are going to be pushed down. They are going to be shadow banned. And that is the opposite of what free speech is. Part of what I'm trying to achieve with this sort of um, enabling everyone to, to be payment verified with, with Twitter Blue is to try to get as many people payment verified as possible. Uh, it's only eight bucks a month. Um, although for some people that were complaining about that, and these are people who pay more than that for their latte. I'm going to be one of your Twitter Blue <laughs> customers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, but but, it's, but like a, it's part of its revenue, part of it is payment authentication. And so if somebody, uh, because there is a huge problem with spam and, and bots and trolls on, on Twitter and organizations trying to manipulate pu public opinion. But, it, but if we can get enough verified users and we're going to prioritize um, Twitter search, replies, uh, mentions um, by verified users first. Um, and, and yeah, this is very, if, if you're payment verified, with blue check mark, then you're pre-prioritized, and, and hateful conduct pays. But if somebody risks losing even eight bucks, they, 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 the, the net effect will be over time that the the verified users will be will, will pretty much always be at the top of of comments and search, and you won't really see. You'll have to scroll far to see the unverified uh, users, which will be the bots and, and trolls and whatnot. Like, so if something we don't want to see, it gets pushed way down. Yeah, just put the, the basic. And I see a lot of people still trying to do mental gymnastics, trying to defend it. But this is a lot more than just having a blue tick. I mean, this is the entire reason why he wanted to buy Twitter, was to amplify voices, not suppress it. So what happens to people if they don't have the $8 or they don't want to give the $8? You will get suppressed. And he's already updated the terms of service. On Twitter, he said, like very clearly, starting today, we are adding great features to Twitter Blue for $8 a month. Month. And as part of what you will be getting, he says half the ads and much better ones since you are supporting Twitter in the battle against bots, we are going to reward you with half the ads and make them twice as relevant. So it's not even an ad free experience. But the most important part that he says here is priority ranking for quality content. Your content will get priority ranking in replies, mentions and search. This helps lower the visibility of scans spam and bots now honestly I don't think that's true at all I really don't and the fact that you will be suppressed it's not just that there's going to be a priority ranking he literally said during the seminar that you're pretty much going to be pushed completely down to a point where people are not even going to see you anymore and I don't understand completely how that is free speech because it's not he's supposed to be amplifying voices and he's suppressing the voices of people who are not willing to pay for Twitter the blue and I don't know how anyone who are an advocate for free speech I don't know how anyone is going to defend that I think this is something that he needs to rethink I think this is something where he needs to go back to the drawing board and understand why that is not going to work I think there's a lot of people who want to support him I think there's a lot of people who feel like they were previously oppressed on the platform who now want to return to the platform and who want to give their support to Elon Musk and Twitter but if if you're going to suppress their voices if they're not going to pay for you I don't know how long those people are going to stay on the platform I hope that this is something that is going to revisit I hope that this is something that is going to rethink because I just don't see long term how this platform is going to survive because the people are the ones that's making the content the people are the ones that are providing the content for your platform he keeps linking it to like Starbucks where you have eight dollars for a coffee but you don't want to pay eight dollars for Twitter blue it's completely different at least with Starbucks you get a coffee you're not expected to go there bring your own ingredients make the coffee and serve the coffee to other people and then pay them eight dollars but with Twitter blue you are you're the one making the content you're the reason why people are going to the platform and then on top of that you need to pay and if you don't pay you get suppressed and then people say free speech that's not free speech that's not how free speech works and if you truly want to have a free speech platform, it cannot be locked behind $8.